I am Sakshi Goyal from LNM IIT Jaipur and this is Prakhar Singh Singer from NIT Patna. I am going to be starting with the remote center capacity management. Uh, this module is for the remote center to participate in the workshop. So when the remote center coordinator logs in, he will be, uh, the main responsibilities of remote center coordinator is filling the capacity information for his remote center and managing participants for the workshops in which payment at remote center is applicable. So in the managed remote center capacity, the RCC can fill seats for the remote center. He also has the option to decline the remote center if there are no participants with the status other than cancelled. In the fill seats, RCC has to fill all the information like available seats, available accommodation and also he has to nominate a FDP course coordinator. In managed participants, all the workshops with our remote center payment are shown and uh, in the managed part, he can accept or reject participants based on whether they have made the payment to remote center. On accepting, the participant status will change to accepted and on reject, uh, he will be asked to enter a reason for the rejection and an email will be sent to the participant of state, uh, informing him about the reason for his rejection. Other than that, the RCC can view uh, participants in his remote center, the workshop schedule and the attendance details. Now for the status management… Just, just one, one question, okay, you have got a remote center capacity analysis. Do you have any interface like when I do a web check-in, I can choose my seat? So somebody like to take a back bench in the remote center to sit and other thing? It's are available, this many accommodations. Okay, it doesn't give the layout and then the seat selection and phrasing the things. No, that, that can you think of this also? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You don't come and attend. <laughs> okay. So I'll hand over to Prakha for status management. Good morning, everyone. This is the status management. This is for the princ uh, uh, principal course delivery manager. He can change the status of the par participant at different stages before the workshop. And the list of participants will come in two ways. Like if Sarah has mentioned, if it is face-to-face -face interaction, it will come remote center-wise. Otherwise, it will come state-wise. This thing we have also seen in the iClub Way website. Like we are seeing all the status here. We can export. Uh, uh, through Excel and print there the whole data table and we can and the uh, the principal course delivery manager can ch uh, can check the ID and letter and check whether it is verified or not and can change the status according to that in the update column and if uh, if he clicks on the invalid uh, button he have to provide the appropriate reason the mail will go to the participant uh, that uh, will show the mistake that you have done and uh, if we click on the approve button, the mail will go to, uh, to him uh, regarding the confirmation. We have tried to enroll the participant through EDX, but it, uh, it didn't work out because it's only for the sign in user. Uh, so we have sent a mail to them regarding that it's not working because it's only for the sign, sign in user. We can only enroll the sign in user in the IIT Bombay X. So we have so we have implemented it uh, for now uh, manually. Okay, thanks.